Hey you guys, my name is Courtney J and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to another weekly vlog. Today is Thursday. It's almost 6 p.m. and I'm outside because remember in the other vlog I told you guys that cousin's mom was building her deck. Well now the deck is finished. She took away the stairs because she likes it better without the stairs. And now it's all done. I know she says she's going to paint it. So I think after she paints it, I'm going to put my stage pole somewhere in this area. But she's also going to have them build and extend the pavement. So I can put my pole on the pavement. So that's love, right? So this week so far i didn't record really because i wasn't really doing much i didn't go to my club yesterday yesterday was self-care day got my fourth laser session and that session actually hurt a bit more like it was a bit more painful for me and i asked the lady like why that was and she was like probably just anxiousness and nervousness and menstrual cycle and i think it's just my hormones and most likely just nervousness <laughs> I honestly don't recall if my first ever facial before I moved back to Atlanta was Hydra or not. But I got a Hydra facial yesterday because I'm receiving breakouts and stuff. And it looks way better than what it did. And at the end of it, they have a gunk jar. So it shows all the dirt and stuff that was on your face. And it was just disgusting. So I'm going to do that every month. It was around like 250 bucks. It felt really amazing. My skin feels better. And I'm just excited to see the difference in my face. And I was honestly breaking out because of what I was eating. I was asking her, like, why is this happening to my face? And she said that around this area, it ties into what we're eating. And she was like, if you're eating cheese, Cheetos, and chocolate. That's what she said in that order. And I was like, wow, I just bought cheese yesterday from the store. I eat Cheetos at my club. And I eat chocolate. I've been eating chocolate lately because... There's a lady at my club that's selling those chocolate bars. You remember the chocolate bars that we had to sell in high school? Yeah, so now that I know why my face has been breaking out, it's because of my diet. I've been drinking nothing but key lime water. I've eaten pineapple more often now. Not strawberries, because I didn't have them at the store. But pineapple, and I'm going to stay away from my peanut butter because I know the peanut butter has a lot to do with my breakouts as well. Tonight, I do have dance class. I'm going to take you guys to dance class with me. I think it's someone's birthday. The airplane wanted to say hello. Hey, you guys. I have made it to class. Now you're Hi, Celia. Hello. Hi. Hey, say hi. <laughs> I want to introduce you guys to Kiki. She's one of my friends that I've met through dance. Actually, do you remember the first time we actually like saw each other? I think it was in Jen's class. No, I don't even think it was Jen's class. It might have been um, the other lady's yeah. class with K. Um, yeah. Inserted myself. Chantelle's class. Chantelle. Yeah. You remember it was the um it was like that bucket hey, class. I'm a stretch. Are you sure that was me? I'm positive. Chantel. Chantella. Chantella. Yeah. I promise you. Because I've the only class I've taken in Atlanta have been I did two of Jen's. I started with Kanisha. It might have been Kanisha. Kanisha. And then I saw you here and I was like, wait, she looks familiar. Like I saw her in Atlanta. Two this was two years ago though. When did you start dancing? How did you get into it? Me, yeah, I started dancing when I was 14. And I got into it because I was having troubles in school. So my mom put me into a studio and that's how I started dancing. Nice. <laughs> With you in two years. Right, I literally was thinking about that on the way here. <laughs> like, it's been a while. Literally. But it'll be worth it. Yay! You look so pretty in the sunlight. So do you. <laughs> 
And your hair is so pretty. It's get longer when I last saw you at the dance studio. And I am doing a private with Stax today. See, Stax hasn't been in effect in two years. Love it. Green tea frappuccino from Starbucks. Never had this before, but it tastes so good. And whipped cream. Hey you guys, so, oh my gosh, I sound like Darth Vader, or however you say his name from Star Wars. My body is so sore. So the shoulder mount that I attempted to do yesterday at pole practice, literally I'm feeling it right now. <laughs> and my leg, whatever muscle is over by the hip or on top of the thigh, that's still kind of sore, but it's not terrible. Last night was, like it wasn't mini back night, but it was close to big back. I'll just say that. It was close to big back night, really close. The night went by, I wasn't on my phone at all. I challenged myself to not be on my phone so that I can see like how many more people I actually engage with if I'm like not on my phone. So last night was one of those, the people that I went to contributed to my bag and I didn't have to go up to everybody in the club. Of course, that's what I did because I thought that, you know, that's what I had to do because I don't count my money throughout my shifts. Um, but I really didn't have to do that for real. <laughs> but I did it anyway, which is good practice because sometimes you're going to have nights when you do talk to mostly everybody in the club and they do decide to give to you and they have some nights when you're only going to make your bag with like five people and that's that's always good too there was just two incidences where i dealt with two customers not wanting to pay the exact amount and the first guy this girl one of the dancers she came up to me and him and she was like why are you doing her how you did me because you owed me money too you need to give her what you owe her like she was watching us and i didn't even notice it but she was watching us to see like what he was gonna do so I appreciate her for doing that. So then she went up to the security guard and I went up over there. At my club, apparently, there is an incident. So the security can't, you know, try to get money that is owed to you. But they can kick the guys out. So they kicked them out respectfully <laughs> and then later on in the night another guy did the same thing and that triggered my inner child so I was like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deal with this <laughs> Hey you guys, I've made it back home and my right ear has been ringing for five minutes I want to say now. Like when I came into my room, I just 
kept hearing this ringing and I thought it was both of my ears but when I close one of my ears I'm able to hear it more on my right side than my left and it's currently ringing as I'm speaking right now I'm not sure when it's gonna stop I've always experience hearing ringing in my ears and if you look up what that means then you can come across what resonates with you however this is my first time experiencing the ring going on for this long and i kid you guys not it was so loud it's still kind of loud right now but anywho so tonight was actually a very interesting night like it just went by really fast my lip gloss wasted on one of my dollars it was really trippy that happened tonight the time changed like i remember i was dancing in this section for this girl and her boyfriend but really for her she loved me and i looked at the time and it was 1 49 and then when i went up to this other customer a while after it was 118 and then i asked one of the girls at my club i'm like do you remember on the news they said they were going to take away daylight savings or something and she was like no i don't remember hearing that and i'm like am i tripping or what because i swear i thought they said that they took it away, which time is an illusion anyway, because I was gonna change daylight savings. But now I'm thinking about, it, I'm just gonna Google it. I literally went up to everybody to me. I was on that type of time, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I literally was just like, okay, well, let's just go up to people and just see what happens. And there were more generous customers tonight for sure. There was more people that were um, open to giving dances and. I received handout money as well. I didn't even use my um, my donation excuse like that for real. Yeah, I didn't have to say donation once tonight actually. <laughs> and I still received money just for conversation or just because. So we love that. Oop, the ring stopped. Wow, that was the longest I've ever had my ears ringing. That's interesting. But yeah, and then all throughout the two days I've worked this week, um, Friday I saw 111 on the TV, and then I saw 123 on the TV, and then I saw 119, which 119 I discovered was one of my angel numbers as well back when I was living with my mom. So I discovered that two years ago. So I've had a lot of signs this week. And also a lot of people that I randomly thought about, they showed up at the club. Like, ran it started last week. Like, random girls that I would just randomly think about. Like, oh, I haven't seen her in a minute. They all showed up the past two weeks. I met very interesting but yeah so i'm appreciative for the night that i had tonight it went by it was easy nothing too crazy just regular schmegular stuff so i'm going to sort out all of this I have big bills and stuff but i think i have a lot of ones this time I have my dance intensive today as well. My shoulders are more sore than they were yesterday. So I pray that I can just get through my dance intensive today and just not be so like, not be so hard on myself and not be too much in pain. Cause it's, it's just my muscles being tight. So you guys pray for me. <laughs> Hey you guys, it is the next day. No, it's not. <laughs> it's the same day. It's just 1.13 in the afternoon. Cousin made me tea earlier. Mint tea with agave. 
So Peppa, Nick, and Coco got groomed today. They have a groomer that pulls up on us and they and he picks up the dogs and then he drops them off when he's done with them. Don't we love that? Literally, I was gonna, <laughs> I think I was gonna take Peppa outside to him, but they were already with him. All I know is that I fell asleep on top of my bed. My debit card was out of my wallet. I think I was switching my cards on my cash app or something and I fell asleep while trying to do it. I was literally so out of it. <laughs> but my baby looks so pretty. Say hi to the family. Say hi. You look so pretty. Oh. You look so pretty. Say hi to the family. Hi. She just wanna say hi right now. Baby is <laughs> helping me stretch out my back, you guys, with my shoulders. So question. So now that I feel keep our stomach like this while we're dancing absolutely so we have to keep our stomach like our core tight engaged, while we're dancing. engaged so you don't want to think about it being tight you want to think about it being active you don't want to be loose you want to be active that makes so much and then sense. things will be so much easier to do because you're up here right yes so our stomach isn't like out like this no we're just squeezing in our stomach while yeah. we're dancing so you remember how I told you about the fish hook? Yeah. That's what you want to think about while you're dancing. Like somebody has a fish hook in you. And then you want to have, imagine like somebody is a puppy master. Yeah. And they have a, a line coming out of the center of your head. That's what your alignment is. Yeah. And you want to exhale from here. But keep our stomach engaged. Keep your stomach engaged. That makes so much sense. Chest open, open, shoulder down. Yeah, I'm gonna get y'all right. I'm gonna get y'all right, man. Come yep. on, take me class. Yes. <laughs> Could you have to use your core? Yes, that was what I like. Actually, like, no, it's like keep it like this the entire time. I've used this this one time, but and then let it go. But it's like, no, no the entire time. It helps with your balance too. The entire time. Yeah. The entire time. That's why you be wobbly on mm -hmm. your heels. It's your balance. And you should be able to hold your core and breathe. Mm-hmm. Breathe. Don't be so up tight with it. Exhale, don't you? Exhale. Exhale. So just hold it tight. Okay, technique teacher. Excited that nobody ran away from the hip hop aspect of it. You're going to need it. It's going to help you be a well rounded dancer. So just go into an open minded and, and fear less. Don't be scared of it. Sometimes when we like used to doing another style, we go into another style, we go into a fearful, and you're already like, building the anxiety, already creating the anxiety. So go in it, open mind, open heart, you know, and just take it all in, process it. You know, you, you might look crazy, you might feel crazy, it might feel unusual, but just be in a moment and be present and, you know, give it your all. So thank y'all so much. It was amazing. Clap it up one more time. I know y'all feet on fire. And it just sues a breakdown from a good stretch your workout, running outside to spinning in heels for a good two, two and a half hours outside of your workout. So you should be proud of that. Take your break, whatever break you're going to get, <laughs> and, you know, finish strong. Don't, don't think, like, first half done. No, finish strong. Like, go find some energy, take a walk, you know, take a second, and then come back after your break, ready to hit it. Yes? All right. Thank y'all so much. I love you. Got me up and waiting and popping. Hola, my lovelies. It is Monday, and my favorite person, well, one of my favorite people, Quay. She is a choreographer that I started training with back in August. So go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi. My name is Quay, aka Queen. Um, we are in Queen Moves Heels class slash sneakers class vibe every Monday in Atlanta. Ooh, wait, we missed it. Go again. Ah, oof. Wait, let me squeeze my cord. <laughs> ah, yes, absolutely. <laughs> every Monday here um, in Stone Mountain area, um, 8 o'clock. Come get a vibe. You know, we have fun. We sweat a little bit, but we're so cute. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be the end of this weekly vlog so make sure you stay tuned for Absolutely. next week's vlog i'm starting the vlog off taking 
baby's class tomorrow which is contemporary so make sure you stay tuned to see how that class goes watch my recent vlog and Absolutely. i appreciate everybody that enjoys my dance journey i appreciate oh yeah all the choreographers Definitely. and everything under the sun i everything. love you guys to jupiter and back don't forget to stay objective and just be present in each moment i love you guys so next time bye bye